So here we have an example of the homage project. The homage project is a project which allows students to one look at the painting in depth, normally quite a well-known piece of work, and engage with that painting and create a homage to that painting in a setup. The second thing the homage project does is it introduces students to oil painting with an aim to improve oil painting skills so it becomes a, a very viable material for them going forward. So here we have a student who was started off looking at this painting, The Death of Marat, uh, by David, a French artist in the classical tradition. So he's gone into the meaning of the painting in quite a lot of depth here. Oops. Speaking about its relation to the French Revolution and who this character Marat was. A bit of background information regarding David and examples of other paintings and how he fits into that classical genre and art history. Some printouts from Wikipedia, but as well as lots of personal comments, these printouts have been commented on and the key points have been highlighted and identified. We have a copy of one of David's pieces of work here. And this is this candidate's first couple of oil paintings where he's looking at two aspects of the painting, the arm and the face, and he's starting to grapple with the techniques needed to produce a successful oil painting. Linking with the classical tradition, we know that many of the Renaissance artists look back to classical Greek sculpture and Michelangelo was no different to this. So he's looked at Michelangelo's Sculpture of Dawn, which is from one of the Medici family tombs. And here we see he's starting to set up his homage. So here he's got the picture of David's Death of Marat, and because of the classical links, he's introduced the sculpture by Michelangelo, which is again thematically linked to death. Michelangelo for the tomb did Dawn and Dusk, and he did Night and Day for another part of the tomb. So again, this gives an idea of the start of life being dawn and dusk being the end of life. And we see pictures of his setups here. We see a little drawing here from the sculpture. Could be a little bit more substantial. There could be some compositional arrangements in the form of drawing, but we do have various setups in photographs. And then we have a final piece. So he's shown step-by-step -step stages of the painting process and some final evaluation. And finally, if we look at the final piece, Death of Marat, we see the Michelangelo sculpture. It's interestingly lit and it's quite a strong first oil painting.